Nacedora para Hibana, The Salmon Pink Earth Eater Tarantula. It's a large new world terrestrial opportunistic burrower species of tarantula endemic to the region of Paraiba in the northeast of Brazil. Was discovered and described in 1917 by Candido Fermino de Melo Leitao. It is considered the third largest tarantula in the world, competing with the Therafossa blondi and Therafossa apophysis, being able to reach up to 11 inches in length. That's a frisbee sized tarantula. Although not all specimens reach up to such lengths and the majority reach up to 9 inches which is still bien grande for a tarantula especially males that tend to be lankier and look longer than the females of the species although females can weigh over 100 grams and also have large body size in comparison with their legs talking about potatoes with legs right like many other species, the mature male of Lacidora parahibana will have tibial hooks to hold the female's fangs during mating. They are regarded as a docile species and do not possess venom of medical concern, but their fangs can reach up to one inch in length and can deliver a painful bite, causing mechanical damage anywhere the bite is located. However, rather than biting, they usually choose to flick urticating bristles and are considered to have one of the most painful reactions. These harpoons, like hairs, are extremely irritating. Since they come from a tropical climate in the northeast of Brazil, where the temperature ranges from 21 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius, I grazed my tarantula from a sling in between the 22 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius and she just keeps getting bigger. They also appreciate the humid environment. In fact, 70% of humidity is ideal, but you can also get away with just misting twice a week the enclosure and having a water dish. Fresh water should be available at all times. If you're using tap water, make sure it is not high in chloride since this could be potentially harmful for your tarantula. If you have doubts, just let the water sit overnight. Chemicals should evaporate by doing this. Or you could get one of these turtle and terrapin water freshener or any RepiSafe water drops. This contains safe bacteria that will encourage a good environment for your tarantula. And I know some people will say, I always use tap water for my animals. In all my years of keeping animals, blah, 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 blah. Well, that depends where you live, right? I mean, I cannot even drink the tap water in here because ah, it doesn't matter. Just don't kill your animal, okay? Muy bien. So where were we? Ah, sí, la guía. The care sheet. As a sling, they will borrow. So you will need a rather tall enclosure with enough substrate for the sling to borrow. About two inches of substrate is enough for a tiny sling, something that you would put in a veil like this and about three inches of substrate is enough for a not so small sling. You can always give extra substrate depending on the size of your tarantula, right? You're gonna have in mind that this tarantula has a medium to, to fast growth rate. So you will do a few rehouses before they reach adulthood. You can always bypass the juvenile enclosure and use that five gallon tank in which you can keep your tarantula until it reaches up to 6 inches. But if you don't have space or you just don't have the enclosure at hand, you can use a shoe box like this one with enough substrate of course. And once this tarantula reaches about 6 inches in length, you're gonna need a minimum of a 10 gallon tank or a medium low exoterra. On that note, I think this is one of the few species that really benefits from a bigger enclosure because of its size. So if you want, you could use a 20 gallon tank for your mature Lacidora parahibana. Just remember to have enough substrate for her to not have a big fall in case she decides to climb the walls. These tarantulas are very heavy bodied and are very clumsy. They are voracious eaters and will take down anything on their path. 
you can offer small crickets and medium sized crickets to your slings. Remember if your sling is still very small you need to give pre-killed prey and gradually offer bigger prey as your tarantula grows. If you have any suggestions leave them in the comment section. If you want to keep learning about some wacky spiders and other animals that I keep in here be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss out any updates because the mofo is real. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.